Hi, in this video I will tell you MSQE entrance mathematics preparation for non-engineers. Now why I need to make this video is I have received a lot of comments about how to prepare for maths as I have not prepared for GE. I am not an engineer. My maths in class 10, 11, 12 was not that great. So I want to make this video so that those people can have this access directly that even if they feel that their maths is not up to mark, there is some kind of resource for them. Now how do you start this process? The process starts from the very beginning. First things first, you need to see how bad are your basics. Now, there's a very easy way to understand your strengths and weaknesses in the basics. Get hold of any class 11 and 12 textbook on mathematics. Now, that textbook can be an NCRT or could be any other book like NCRT. If you can get a PDF and you prepare a PDF, I have no qualms about that. It is all up to you. And then what you do is check the syllabus of MSQE and mark those chapters in NCRT or the book which you have. From this point onwards, I will refer to that book as NCRT but whenever I say NCRT just remember NCRT type book that is what I'm referring to so just mark the chapters which you have in the syllabus of MSQ entrance examination now once you have that sorting done on that textbook go through the solved examples if you want to and if you feel that no I do not need to, I just need to solve the end of the chapter questions then definitely directly jump to that and when you jump to that try to at least do few simple questions the questions which you think you can do and that is important because that will help you in warming up and that warming up is very essential. Now after you solve few easy questions, the questions which you think you can solve, then jump on to the questions which you cannot solve, which you think you cannot solve actually. Now once you do this exercise for one chapter, move on to the next chapter and keep on continuing this. And let us say just for the sake of an example, we have 24 chapters to cover. So take 24 to 40 days, I mean I'm giving you a rough boundary on that. Take 24 to 40 days and try to cover up the NCRT book. And in this way, solved example, easy, unsolved, and difficult, unsolved. And then directly head on to a J Mathematics book. Now you could refer to Asiddas, Gupta or any book which you have. I mean, I have no hangups about the book which you're referring to, but it should be essentially a JE book. And that should prepare you for JE mains as well as JE advanced. That is what I believe. You, you can take JE mains as well if you feel that JE mains is the level of MSQE. But I believe that it is somewhere between JE mains and advanced or it is actually JE advanced. So take hold of a JE book. And then do the similar exercise which you have done with NCRT. Solved examples, unsolved, easy, unsolved, difficult. Now, the reason you are doing this is because you already know a bit of maths and you just want to understand that what is your level because that will really decide your future course of preparation. Whenever a researcher starts doing some kind of a research, the main main question which he has is on which topic he has to do research and what is his research question that takes a lot lot of time and that amount of time is needed and that is why you have to understand even your scope of preparation you, there is no one size fits all preparation strategy if there was a one size fits all preparation strategy then probably every coaching institute would have been using that strategy and they would have been the best coaching institute every student would have performed really well but that doesn't happen because there is no single strategy which is applicable to each one of you so that is why we have to do this kind of a survey of your uh, basic knowledge in mathematics and your level of mathematics solving skills. So now after you have gone through the NCRT and your JE book exercises, which I have just referred now how you will do those exercises, go on to the actual previous year MSQA questions, both PA and PEB. 
now when you look at the questions you will understand that which questions you feel you can do and which questions you feel you cannot do so again follow that same old strategy which we have been doing first solve few easy questions then solve few questions which you think are difficult that will give you another flavor of it that what is your level of understanding of maths and what is your problem solving ability and 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 one basic and the most fundamental thing which i really cannot stress more do not think of this as an exam think of this as your net practice so take one question at a time do not think like you will solve 10 questions at a time or 5 questions at a time or 3 questions at a time and then look at the answers i mean to me that looks like a pretty pretty elementary way of approaching this task because ultimately in msq entrance examinations the questions are not going to be formula based that you will apply some formula and get the answer the questions would involve some kind of an analysis or some kind of a thought so if you are just thinking that i will first solve five questions in this setting and look at the answers definitely your approach is wrong first of all if you do in that way i mean i don't understand what basic thing how can someone solve five questions and then check the answer i have never done that i mean for me if i solve a mathematics question i need to look at the answer to see if it is right or not and then i modify that question i mean i do not move on from one question until i completely ring that out and i take out every strand out of that question so that i understand that question thoroughly that how can that question be completely modified or transformed into a difficult problem or transformed into an easier problem so that is what you need to do in this stage when you are solving an actual previous year msqe question on mathematics or statistics or economics but yes this video is basically stressing only upon mathematics so when you are solving a question try to first solve it then check the answer then make more questions out of that modify that on your own step into the shoes of someone who will set that question paper how will he modify or she modify that question paper or that question which you have in your hand now it's not a rocket science you have to just do a bit of creativity it is not mathematics if you cannot modify a question which you have already solved and understood then it is not the problem in your mathematics problem solving but it is a problem in your creativity and if you lack creativity ultimately it will catch on in one way or the other so why not hone that creativity and every one of us is creative in certain ways but if you channelize your focus in a particular direction then definitely your creativity can be put into good use so this is what i want to say that whenever you solve a question modify it and make it two three more questions make it difficult make it easier make it into a form which is not solvable now these are the things which you can uh, obviously do a lot of permutations and combinations upon but the idea here is this will help you in understanding and clearing of your mathematics concepts and problem solving ability and once you do these three things ncert exercises which i said j exercises which i said and then msqe questions which i said you will gain a lot of confidence in the process and yes this will be a big journey the first ncert will take roughly 24 to 40 days as i said then your j will roughly take around 2 to 3 months if if you have to give good amount of time to that and then your previous year questions won't take that much of time maybe one month or so so this will take roughly if i have to say 3 plus 1 plus 1 5 months so around 5 to 6 months is a time in which you can really practice the mathematics for msqe and become very good at it and 
that level of practice requires a bit of time so let's say you have 3 months so you can still do that just try to increase your number of hours which you'll study and it is not that difficult every one of us has 24 hours and as i've already said in a lot of videos that time is something which you create for the things which you really 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 are passionate about and that's a priority for you so don't say that i have less time just think about what you need to do and what you can do right now whenever you get stuck at a mathematics problem that is not the end of the world it just means that leave that question aside for a while and go to the next question and do not look for solutions immediately try to spend at least one day with a question that is my recommendation you may take a call that i will spend just two hours that is up to you but do not just spend 10 20 minutes in a question and think that i'm not able to solve it let me find a solution for this that's that's something which is self-defeating and it's just killing your time